Question four, we have Sanvi. She's 500 or he, I'm not sure. 500 in her, it says her, her savings account. She decides now that she has a new job. She's gonna put a thousand on January the 1st every year into her account and the bank offers 1%. So whatever she has in her account is gonna be whatever she has in the previous year, which is the N minus one part times 1.01 for the compounding. And then she is going to put in a thousand at the beginning of the new year. So that's should be quite into this 1.01. .01. Yeah, it's the same as this guy here. So whatever she has the previous year by the interest rate plus one, and then the thousand she puts in at the beginning of the year before the interest rate is applied. Okay, solve this difference equation. Okay, let's have a look here. If n is equal to one, a one is equal to 1.01 .01 times a zero plus a thousand and n is equal to two we get a two which is 1.01 .01 by a one plus a thousand changing this guy to the one above we're going to get 1.01 .01 .01 times a zero plus a thousand and we have to bring in this plus a thousand, which is going to be 1.01 .01 squared by a zero plus 1.01 .01 by a thousand plus this thousand at the end. Let's do n is equal to three as well. It just becomes a bit clearer, I think, with the third one. A three is going to be 1.01 .01 by a two plus a thousand which is 1.01 .01 by this whole expression 1.01 .01 squared by a zero plus 1.01 .01 by a thousand plus a thousand and then we have to add in this thousand should become clear now that's going to be a3 being 1.01 .01 by 1.01 .01 squared times a zero so that's cubed times a zero plus 1.01 .01 by this guy 1.01 .01 squared by a thousand plus 1.01 .01 by a thousand and then we're going to have that thousand at the end plus a thousand Okay, so we'll isolate this guy and then create our geometric expression. Let's look at it going backwards. We have a thousand plus 1.01 .01 by a thousand. And then the last expression is going to be the two in this case, but it'll always be one less than this one. So that's our a thousand, sorry, 1.01. .01 of n minus one by a thousand. So our geometric expression a is equal to a thousand, or you can factor out the thousand if you so wish. The ratio is 1.01. .01. So Sn of this guy is going to be a times one minus r, which is 1.01 .01, to the power of n over one minus 1.01. .01. And if we divide a thousand by minus point oh one, we're gonna get minus a hundred thousand. It's just so quite minus a hundred thousand by one minus one point oh one to the power of n. Simplifying this, we're gonna get minus a hundred thousand plus a hundred thousand by one point oh one to the power of n. And then we're gonna bring back down this guy. We were told at the beginning, A0, I think was the 500 that she had in her account. So we're gonna get 1.01 .01 cubed, or 1.01 .01 to the power of N for this one, by 500. So we have 100,000 of 1.01 .01 to the power of N and 500. So we have 100,500 by 1.01 .01 to the power of N minus 100,000 is going to be a n 
of this expression how much does she have in 20 years time okay so we just have to put 20 in for n 820 is equal to 100,500 by 1.01 .01 to the power of 20 minus 100,000 and typing this into a calculator 226910 let me just double check that Typing on a calculator twice you get 226910 and that's the end of question 4